motherfucker, get this nigga next door. I'm out of here, that nigga be showing all no, night, I can't no, sleep. No, and call that big butt nurse with the long hair to come suck no, my dick. No, 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 the doctor said I need about three weeks. Welcome back, guys. We're back in Jim's kitchen here, baking with Notorious. Absolutely. How's it going, big fella? Good, good. What have we got for the people at home today? Ah, uh, some sticky date muffins today. Nice and, um... That sounds a little naughty. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit naughty. <laughs> nice and sweet one for, for you guys. Nice. Happy days. Well, that was on Notorious's Instagram, at Notorious underscore. Check it out. Everyone's loving those ones. So we thought we'd do it for you today. Where do we start? What have we got? So we've got some flour here. We've got four and a half cups of um, all-purpose flour, so mm -hmm. sifted. Yep. And then we've got uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Easy. So just straight so we'll just in. throw that straight in. So about five to six um, teaspoons of baking powder. Cool. So we throw that in. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Nice. So we just got to mix all that around to get all the um, dry ingredients incorporated with the flour. So we got three eggs. With the world's coolest whisk. So that's um, three quarters plus half of three quarters of a cup of caster sugar. So do the maths. Yeah. <laughs> three quarters plus half a three quarter. But anyway. I don't, I don't even know that equal. <laughs> quarter of a cup plus half of a quarter of brown sugar, vegetable oil or any oil that you'd want to use. And then we have one and a half cups of buttermilk. Oh yeah. Nice. Well, you can use milk for that alternatively, but I like to use buttermilk. It gives a bit of an extra, like, uh, better taste and flavour, I think. So we're doing one and a half teaspoons of um, just some vanilla extract or essence, whichever one you like to use. I prefer extract. To add to that, maple syrup. And then we're getting all that mixed around, and that's going to turn, like, a real dark brown in colour. So then we add that to our dry ingredients. Cool. So just fold all that together. So the key to muffins is you don't want to uh, over mix them because then they'll become tough. Yeah, so you could use a mix master for this if like if you're struggling to mix it all together. But um, unless you've got guns like the boys here. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's all about um, balance in the gym, in the muffin tin. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of health. You know, it's all good. <laughs> so then we add to that some freshly chopped pecans. And then here we've got some pitted dates that we've just um, soaked in some boiling water for about five to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Them in. Nice. This is where my muffins become huge. We're pretty generous with our servings. And we're going to top these all with um, some more pecans just on top. So, yeah, so into the oven at 210 for five minutes. So just initial uh, hit of high heat. Yep. And then we'll turn that down to um, 190 degrees for around, it varies around 25 to 28 minutes. How do we finish these bad boys off? So to finish these off, we're just gonna add a little bit of maple syrup on top, a little more sugar. <laughs> let that, because they're warm, we're gonna let that all like soak into them and really yeah, right. get right into the muffin. So we'll just put that in the cracks. What are they? So they're just medjool dates that have been cut in half and they've just been sitting in maple syrup for a little while. So they're just it better, doesn't it? nice and coated in it all, nice and juicy. You just whack them on top, finish it off. Oh yeah, super shiny, hey? Gives the extra appeal. <laughs> All right, there we have it, guys. There's my take on a sticky date muffin. So if you want that recipe, check out the link below. And then don't forget to follow at, at Notorious underscore to check out more of my food and more baking coming. So that's it for this month's baking and tune in next month for more. Woo, see you soon, guys.